Why will uh, Sir Ronald Fiennes not be at home for Christmas? He'll be dead. <laughs> He's dead in the snow. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Why do people... Well, There's truly freeze like that. Why is it people always freeze like that? <laughs> he's, uh, he's walking across the, uh, the South Pole for Christmas. For Christmas. Yeah. I love that song. <laughs> walking across the <laughs> South, South Pole, Pole for, for Christmas. Christmas. Chris Rears, I'm gonna best lose my they reckon, they reckon from Ronald <laughs> Fine, they reckon it's gonna be minus 90 at some point. Minus 90. A popularity rating Nick Clegg would kill <laughs> He said it's the most hostile environment on Earth, but he's clearly never been in a Weatherspoons at breakfast time. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was his partner that came up with the idea, isn't it? It wasn't him that came up with the idea, and his partner's not going, which I love. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go across the South Pole at winter. You come in. Nah. <laughs> now you go. I'll watch from here. <laughs> his partner said it's because he would miss out on his pension. Okay, what? Like, that is the worst excuse I've ever heard. Hang on, so who'd miss out on the pension? Oh, the partner isn't going because they'd miss yeah, out on the Yeah, he said it affect his pension. Mainly because he'd die, I imagine. <laughs> but he was 65, wasn't he? His pension. Is he... His partner's pension. Well, I, he... I read this. Is he gay? No. What? No, 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 no his travel partner. Oh, his travel partner. Oh, God, I thought I'd miss a big story somewhere on the way about Ronald Fine. We're gonna go across the Arctic <laughs> at night really? and we are gonna look amazing. <laughs> Oh, that's, not, that's not fur for warmth, that's just a big headdress <laughs> like in the village people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's done everything, Ralph. He's, he's climbed Sorry. Everest, he's been over both of the poles, he's found the lost city of Rome, he's, uh, he's taken an expedition up the, up the White Nile. He, you can't help thinking, is everything all right at home? <laughs> What are you running from, yeah. What are you running away from? <laughs> he, he took us on that expedition where he sawed his fingers off. That was with a saw that apparently he'd taken in case he needed to saw his fingers off. <laughs> <laughs> that is pessimism, isn't it? Do you know the best thing is now that you can actually get that as an app? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I was actually... I was in Siberia not that long ago. Minus 52 degrees, right? And it was so cold. We were told we were in a tent. If we went outside for a piss, right, we had to shake <laughs> as we pissed, cos otherwise it was going to freeze back oh onto God. our penis, right? Ooh. I'll tell you, that was a hell of a quick piss. <laughs> Nothing frightens you more than you thinking you might get frostbite of the penis. <laughs> Which was when I was quite grateful I've still got a foreskin, cos I figured if I did, I'd still have a little bit to lose and it wouldn't have <laughs> I mean, quite a thing. Just to come out of a tent in the morning and see, like, like a sculpture of kind of half arcs. <laughs> 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 so quite dangerous. Ah! Andy, why don't you go further away from the tent? <laughs>